Hello, my name is Will. I host The Bald Book Geek. I talk about media, films, movies, books, as well as hobbies and interests. So, I was a Twilight teen, and it's interesting seeing the drama around... It's hilarious to me that people are so triggered by this. So, where do we start? Uh, this goes for most YA romance, actually all YA romance and supernatural romance, and actually most YA, the big readership for this novel is women of my age group, late 20s, early 30s, whose best friend is a bottle of cheap white wine or rosé and a vibrator. That's literally who is reading this book. Kids don't read Twilight anymore. The kids, I don't think young people particularly read YA if you look at the sales and who's actually spending money. It's a very small percentage. YA is the new pulp fiction for basic women. <sighs> Hello. Uh, what do I want to talk about? So, this is a discussion. This is me going into it. So, this is a retelling of Twilight from Edward's perspective. And we all are aware of the leaked version of Midnight Sun. This has very little, other than the basic flow of some plot elements, this has very little to do with Midnight Sun, the leaked version. So, you see the story from Edward's point of view and his vision. You see there's a twist to this, and it a new and very dark twist, and you, you're really in Edward's head. The writing of this novel is fundamentally very different to Twilight, especially the first two Twilight novels are really badly written, and there is no way around that. Stephanie Meyer is not a great writer, but she does get better. If you read The Host, for example, which is the best thing she's ever done, a great science fiction novel. But this, on the other hand, is fundamentally very different. Um, the characters, because it's Edward's POV, Bella is an avatar, essentially. She is a blank slate. She represents the writer, and she exists so the reader can relate to her. That's literally the only reason Bella exists. She is the self-insert of the writer. And there's, again, nothing wrong with that if done well. Edward, on the other hand, and I don't know if Stephanie Myers ever said this or talked about this, but I'm probably thinking is her husband. I think Edward owes a lot to her husband. Even if you look at a picture of her husband when he was younger and then you look at Edward, there is a familiarity there. I think Edward is more fully formed because he is someone that she knows intimately and she doesn't want to put too much of herself in her work, which some writers don't want to put their life in their work. They want to keep a, a clear line between it. Has grown as a writer. Why never a great writer? She's definitely improved. And Midnight Sun is a prime example of this. The writing is so fundamentally different and better constructed than Twilight and New Moon ever was. The writing is concise. It's clean. Edward is far more fully formed. And you feel that Edward is ripping himself apart internally. Edward is a very... He's far darker than you give him credit for. <laughs> because again, switching the point of view and being inside of Edward's head. Where did it fall down? Okay, so like I said, the writing isn't great, but it's definitely a massive step up from Twilight and New Moon. I was I remember reading Twilight because it got me out of a reading slump, and it was before Twilight was even a thing. I've talked about it in other videos, by the way, so do check that out. This novel takes you on that journey again. It puts you back in that headspace. When you are a teenager, everything is a big deal. You fall in love. You want to be with someone. You, you The world is ending. It's such a big deal. Oh my God, you know, it, it's and it's not. It's not that at all in real life. But when you're a teenager, it is. It, it's a heightened, very cartoonish version of the teen experience where Edward's POV is more of the gothic, dark, I'm going to kill her, but I also want to fuck her narrative. It's interesting. This, and I do find it hilarious that people are so triggered by, oh my god, old, you know, older guy, younger girl, you know, vampire, all of this stuff. And I'm like, you know, these tropes have been used so many times before and after, yet no one ever talks about those. I think with Twilight, people project themselves on it and they project their personality, their own fears. And I think that happens with YA readers full stop. They project themselves on the work. And there's. 
and that's especially with something so blank slate as Bella although she does get much stronger personality later on people project their insecurities their fears what makes them uncomfortable they do this all the time and it's a very unhealthy way to read because oh my god I can't relate to the character so I can't see myself in here so I'm going to give it like zero stars because I can't see myself that's not why you read books seeing yourself is boring I don't want to see myself in books I want to be challenged I want to see other people Edward is a fascinating character and worthy of more attention I think it will be interesting if if she continues with this but I don't think she will I think this is very much a one-off it's a good book and it's interesting and it's fun to read is it a, is it going to blow your mind is it world changing is it this is it that no is it fun is it nostalgia is it i want to bone edward yes and i think most people can relate to that what will i say about midnight sun that is an improvement over twilight the writing is more consistent the word repetition is gone oh my god the word repetition stephanie my please stop using the word topaz um and just overall, a better constructed, richer novel. And I still think Stephanie Meyer should have sued E.L. James, because, oh my god. But yes, on nostalgia, I would rate this as... I won't rate it, but I'd give it a high rating, because I don't believe in star ratings. On writing style, average. On character development plot, good. It's enjoyable and that's what it needs to be it's escapism fiction you read this to switch off you read this because you want some melodrama and some fun that's why these books exist and that's why this one exists i've trodden deeper puddles than this novel but it's a it's a fun read and enjoyable stephanie meyer has definitely grown i actually really enjoyed her crime scientific crime novels that she did and i i love the host and i really hope one day we get a sequel to the host because that's missing so tell me what you think in the comments as always guys and that's my little breakdown of twilight new well twilight midnight sun and i will talk to you guys later bye